got Love Bug as a birthday present for my 12th birthday. And she ended up being a lot more work than normal birthday presents, but it's worth it. I train for usually around anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, about six days a week. I compete in dressage, and dressage is pretty much dancing in an arena, and it's more of the art of the horse and how it moves rather than speed or agility. In August of last year, um, we started noticing that Bug was developing a cough and the cough got more severe to the point that she was having exercise intolerance and um, became um, where she would not be able to finish a lesson and um, that is when we first uh, alerted our vet, uh, Dr. Scott Thompson. And then in October, uh, just weeks before the Nationals, uh, Love Bug became very ill again. At that time, Dr. Thompson thought something more serious could be going on, and so he referred us to see Dr. Coutille at Purdue, a large animal hospital. Here at Purdue, we are one of only three universities that have a cutting-edge um, sports medicine and a respiratory testing program. So the most common injuries or diseases that we diagnose in our athletes would be uh, lameness first, and second would be a respiratory disease. So I guess Love Bug was really the perfect case to come here, uh, and so we could use our advanced testing, you know, and, and respiratory testing especially to uh, investigate while she was having a problem. We were able to diagnose her with a mild form of forced asthma, and uh, we recommended and put together a treatment plan and she, after the treatment was implemented, she stopped coughing within a week or so and was able to resume competition. So the Equine Center Specialty Hospital just opened a, a year ago in Shelbyville next to the uh, Thoroughbred Racetrack near Indianapolis and that allows us to treat our um, equine athletes there um, on the spot and allow them to go back and compete. So we are very excited about the new equine hospital that's planned for 2020. And this really will allow us to be ready to train the next generation of veterinarian and provide the best care possible. I am just so proud of her that she has trained this pony uh, from the ground up. And I asked her one time, would you like another horse that could, you could ride at a higher level? And she said, it's not about how the level I ride, it's about the journey with the pony. There. Here we go. Here we go.